God says, look, if you love me, keep my commandments. Right. Second John 6, because that shows if you love God. I just wanna, I just wanna, I wanna be famous. Just like when you look at the brother's shirts around here, friends, it's not hard to wear. He said he gonna put curtains on the people. So, is it curtains a good thing or bad? of you not keeping God's commandments. Just like this, because this is the thing, we're out here teaching God's commandments, and there are a couple of commandments right now that you're breaking that you don't even know. You get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Have you been to church before? Yes, sir. How long you been going to church? Since you was little? Yes, sir. So, and this is the thing, is that we come out here to show our people what they're doing wrong in the Bible, because check this out, you should already know this. If the churches were doing their jobs and teaching the Bible, a lot of these things you should already know. But this will be an example or evidence that they're not teaching you the right thing. Read what you got. Book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So, yeah, yeah, go up to back up to three. Who's the head of man? That's my question. Because it says anybody having their head covered, that means you got the thing on your head, right? Dishonoreth his head. He shows disrespect to his head. My question is this. Who is the head of man? Me? No, 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 I'm not, no. We'll read it. Verse, three. verse Corinthians 11 and verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ. Three. And the head of every woman is the man. So the head of every woman, I say if you're married, you're the head of your household. Three. And the head of Christ is God. So it's God the Father, Christ, man, woman. You got the order? So who's, who's the head of man? Christ. You said that with a question mark. You want me to read it again? No. You got it? Yes, sir. Okay. Read verse 4. Verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonor his head. It says, every man having his head covered, when the word of God is coming out, dishonoreth Christ. He's disrespecting Christ. What's the ultimate sign of disrespect to you? Like, what's, what, what do our people consider disrespectful? Like, if I walk up to you, you got on some brand new shoes and I step on them. That's disrespectful. You threw your hands up like, hey, we about to fight. If you if you walk past, like, say, me and my wife walk in the store, and you walk past my wife and slap her in the butt. That's disrespectful, right? Read verse 4 again. Verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So right now, with you having your head covered, that's the equivalent to you walking up to Jesus the Christ and stepping on his brand new sandals. Yeah, it's just that serious. So what should you do right now? Oh, free. And it's just that simple. And check this out. You said you've been going to church all your life, right? Yes, sir. Did you know that? Be real. No, you didn't know that. And that's all we're doing is we're just showing our people who they are in the Bible and what should they be doing in the Bible. That is it. Hey, sis, how you doing? I'm good, sis. What's your name? What's your name? Who? Donna Simmons. Sister Donna. Look, all right. You good, bro. Hey, check out the information on the back. No, the camera says, no, no, it's not like a TV camera or nothing. That's just here for security purposes. 
But check this out, Let me ask you a question. What is your nationality? Do you go to church? Okay, Okay. Now let me ask you this. What is your nationality slash race? Nationality is a fancy word for race. What is your race? Well, according to my mother, I'm an African American woman. I don't know my biological father, so I can tell Because I am whatever my father is. Yes. And I yes. don't know who he is. Okay. Okay. So Give me Romans uh <laughs> Well, this is the thing, sis. This, this is what we're doing. Is we're showing our people who they are according to the Bible. Because just like what you just said, a lot of our people identify with African American. Yeah. Now you you've read the Bible, right? Yes. Can you find African American anywhere in the Bible? No. So if I ask you who are you according to the Bible, would you know? Um, then I would be a Jew. You would be a Jew. How would you know that? From the I'm a descendant of Abraham. Abraham, yeah, Isaac, 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 and, and Jacob. 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 So, okay, when you go into church, Jacob's name got changed to Israel. Well, Jacob had 12 sons. Those are known as the tribes of Israel. Check this out. I think it's 11. Do what? What you say, sis? Uh, so as far as you and kids coming in, you know, taking over everything. Uh -huh. you know, like the Spaniards, they, uh, they just now get made reparations. The Indians got their uh, Indians didn't get reparations. They got reservations. See, this, and this, and no, but check this out. If I come into your house and I take your whole house and I tell you you got to live in the bathroom, is that a reward? That's, that's what they did to the Native American Indians. They came over here, took their land, and preserved them to one spot. That's right. That is not, that is not a, a uh, reparation. That is not a repayment. Where I come from, uh -huh. all you gotta do is go get tested and see if you got Indian blood in you. And you can get money for that if you Alright, check this out, sis. Alright, okay, I'm just Yeah, read verse 11. Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 11. Yay! All Israel has transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey the, thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured out upon, upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him, and, and he has and he has confirmed his word, which he spoke 
against us and against our judges and the judge us and judge us by bringing upon us a great evil from under the whole heaven has not been done as has been done unto Jerusalem. So that's what, it, that's what the Bible says. It says that none of the curses that happened to us has happened to nobody else under the heavens that has been done to the 12 tribes of Israel. That's that's right. Right. Every nationality can say that they went into slavery on slave ships. Right. Not every, not every, not, not everybody can say that. That happened to one nationality of people. It happened to the so-called African Americans. It happened to us, and it's broadcast to us. It also happened to the Native American Indians, and it also happened to the Hispanics. How? When? At one point, did it happen to them? When did it happen? No, not to the Spaniards. To the Hispanics, because Hispanic just means property. were the one that came over here. My question is this, is when did the slave ships happen to the history? Because they still have their No, they did not. Because we can talk to a so-called, wait a minute, sis. We can talk to a so-called Hispanic and they call themselves Hispanic or Mexican. Is Hispanic or Mexican anywhere in the Bible? No. According to the Bible, if you're a so-called Mexican, you're of the tribe of Issachar. No one on the street is calling themselves an Issacharite, a Judah, an Ephraimite, a Benjamite. No one is calling them them, uh, themselves these names. It happened to the so-called Hispanics and Native American Indians when Christopher Columbus came over here. So when you kept saying Spaniard, you kept getting them swapped. The Spaniards, yeah, I know what you were talking about. I just want to make sure we was on the same page. So that's what we come out here to do, is we come out here to show nationality first and foremost. And then we show laws, just like this. According to the Bible, you're in the midst of sin right now and you don't even know it. You don't know it. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Fuck about not aware. Because you like this. Did you know your attire right now is very simple? Of course, yes, him. Where he at? Who? I said I'm not gonna go over there dressed like this. So wait a minute, sis. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, sis. So wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. So wait a minute. You will walk down the street and you will walk to the liquor store, but you will not become before your brothers. Hell no. Okay, so you got you got some sense. You got some because I'm not hey sis. Oh, don't don't walk out, don't get offended. Because a lot of our sisters don't know that. That's what I didn't know that you knew that. Don't let this fool you. That is fooling me. But that's on you. No, that's not sis, that's on you. Because if you're dressed in a tire. Exactly. I got to go by what I see. Read what you got, bro. I got you. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Read it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So that's the reason why we're telling you, because this, I didn't, I, I failed that mind reading class in high school. So when you're walking down the street, I don't know that you know if what you're wearing is sinful. I was like, oh no, I gotta check myself. Okay. Well, that's what I'm saying, sis. But there's time to do like this. We come out here to show you what you're doing wrong. You know you're wrong, so just change it. Yeah. Just change it. So the next time we see you, no, I mean your shirt's your shirt's fine. But it's right here. Your toes are fine. It's your it's your garments right here. Because check this out. You can wear that under a dress. Because because this is the thing. Because this is the thing. The reason why we say that uh -huh. is because you don't know if one of these men out here, when you're walking down the street, yeah. you don't know what he's looking at because he can see the shape of your body. That's, That's why. Now that is true. That's why. And then some of these men out here, they're not all right upstairs. So he might try to pull you behind this liquor store and do something to you. That's why it's important. Right, right now you admitted you covered in sin. I'm covered in blood too, though. Yeah, you're going to be covered in some blood if you don't straighten up. Teacher. Okay. Okay, let me ask you one question. Okay, sis, I got you. In Genesis 15, Oh, here we go. Come on, sis. Now you, you're, you're trying to get off subject. That's called you play. Like, you talking about my pants. I don't want to talk about my pants. We're going to go to Genesis. Come on, sis. Hey, boy. I deflected. Okay. No, I yeah. said yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. Okay. In Genesis, it says, God said, let us create man in our image. Who are we talking to? That was God talking to, first off, his son. 
and he was talking to the other angels there. Now, this is the thing. Why do you want to know who God was talking to? Because I, wait a I minute, need sis, to know. sis, sis, sis. Wait, let me let me ask you, let me ask you a question. Because I'm letting you talk, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's let's return that respect. We're being respectful, right? Okay. Well, no, 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 no. I'm asking a question. Why is it? Because you're not. Going to, a lot of people come out here and they want to know deep questions in Genesis. Yeah. But the simple things to where women shouldn't wear pants. They have issues. Not saying that you have an issue, oh, okay. but this is the thing: is that the first thing I want to address. I don't want to go to Genesis. I want to stay in Deuteronomy when it comes to these pants. Oh, okay. I also want to go to what you mean, Numbers fifteen thirty eight, because there's another piece of clothing. Okay. See, that's what I'm saying. You can learn that later on, but the first thing, that, the first thing that you have to do, and it's not just you; it's all of our people, is they first have to get the basic step. Because a lot of our people want to skip steps one, two, and three and go straight to eight, nine, and ten. So let me, let me read this book. Let me read this real quick. Read what you got. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel. So you know now that you're an Israelite, right? Okay. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Now, sis, let me ask you a question. What's, what's fringes? Do you know? Fringes? Fringes. You know what a fringe is? Yeah, these, these little, yeah, tassels. Oh, fringes, yeah, yeah. Fringes, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Read it again. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make their fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. And that they put upon the fringe of the border a ribbon of blue. So that is a commandment. Because that not only goes with our women wearing dresses and our men not wearing skinny jeans and skirts and all of the stuff they're doing now, God does not encourage cross-dressing. So along with that, he says, look, on your dress that you're supposed to be wearing, I want you to wear these fringes. And for the record, exactly. And that's what I'm saying. A lot of our people haven't read this. And that's, and that's what we do. Exactly. But check this out. There's a reason why you wouldn't have known what that meant. And it's not a, it's not a hit against you. Give me that in Psalms. Because in order for you to actually know how to read the Bible, you have to actually keep God's commandments. Keeping God's commandments, that's like the coda ring to the Bible. You get what I'm saying? You got it? All right. Read what you got. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. You know? One eleven and ten again. All right. This is the book of Psalms, chapter one eleven, verse ten. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do His commandments. So, like the comment that you just said, that is one of the reasons why our people will read the Bible. And just like you said, I wouldn't have known what that meant if I had read it anyway. It's because. You're not really, and I'm not saying you're doing it on purpose, you're not keeping God's commandments. And the reason why you're not keeping God's commandments is because you weren't taught to keep God's commandments. All of us at one point in time had to humble down and admit, I don't know anything. It's like it, I'm, a majority of the brothers up here went to church. A majority of the brothers up here had, I would say, rank in church. We were the some of the deacons, some of the uh, some of the pastors, we held positions in church. And we still did not know these things. So that's that's the main reason why we come out, is to show our people who they are according to the Bible, to show them that you have to repent as an Israelite and to keep God's commandments. So we teach uh, nationality, repentance, and God's commandments. All right, go. Yep, sister, we have wives. But because what we do is we don't, yeah, we have a school here in Shreveport. You know what Cotton's grocery store is? Oh, yeah, I just yeah, it's right across the street. What we do is this. We don't bring the women out here because there are a lot of people out here that sometimes want to cause harm to us. And us being good fathers, I'm not going to put my wife and my kids in danger from some of these crazy people out here. What I asked him was, 
when I first moved out here, I saw that. And I said, oh, this is going to bring my grandchildren. They come visit me. So they can go to my school. So I got this. Okay, the difference so between... I'm sure I could bring them there to, and they'll be on the same study guide. Okay. You're doing nothing offensive to, you know what, you know what I mean? Because they ain't going to go back to church. No. no. The, the difference between us and Islam is we worship God. Islam yes, worships, yes. they worship a rock. That's yes, right. Yes. Have you ever heard of the Kaaba stone? Well, I know you probably haven't heard of it. Yeah, but when you look up Muslims, you can look it up. They worship a rock called the Kaaba stone. translation or it's a re recitation of the Bible. Right. But this is the thing is that when you talk to a Muslim, nine times out of ten, well I ain't gonna say nine times, ten times out of ten, they have on uh, un uh, unrighteous clothing, just like what we're talking about with the fringes. Muslims don't wear fringes. Right. Most of the Muslims here, they have shaven beards, bald heads. Right. But even on top of that, sis, the Muslims, the Islamic religion, that's a religion for the Arabs. Yes, right. That's an Arabic religion. That's not ours. Yeah, so that's just like us going to church and worshiping this guy. So who were you taught that this guy was? Oh, they said it was Jesus. Exactly. I like the way you said that. They said that this is Jesus. This is Jesus. But the Bible says that's Jesus. Yeah, I have So by us going <laughs> by us going to Islam and going to these different religions, it's like us worshiping this guy. When God said, no, you worship me. That's you right. put me, I'm above every God. There that's is right. no God but me. Right. So, that, and that's honestly, that's the reason why we're in the situation that we're in now is because, yeah, I mean, along with that, that's why we're like this. That's why we're like this. It's because we did not keep God's commandments. And some of it may be that we just didn't know. But that's the reason why we're here on this corner for free. Out for free, and then on top of that, since we tell you, go home and fact check. Go home, look it up. Pull your Bible out. Study for yourself. Because check this out: is the reason why we call our churches schools is because when you come to our school, you will learn. We have tests. We have class. When you show up, you have to bring your Bible, your pen, your pad. You take notes, and then we give you a test on those notes because we don't want our people dumb. Because that's how the other nations take advantage of us who are in. See, you, you said it yourself. No. You were telling yourself an American black or an African American black. Right? You didn't know that you were an Israelite. You knew what tribe you were from. You said, I'm a Jew. But you didn't know you were an Israelite from the tribe. And a lot of the other nations, they take advantage of that. Just like today is the Lord's Sabbath day. Did you know that you're not supposed to be buying and selling today? It's like you just came out of the store, you just bought that. You're not supposed to do that. Not today. Not today. Not on the not on the seventh day of the week because today is the God Sabbath. It's the Lord is the Lord's Sabbath. That's right. You can do it Monday through Friday. Now you will see the treatment of God. We are not black men. We are the Israelites. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons.
IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.